today, I am gonna show you how to find the sum to infinite terms of different types of series using a simple rule which I call the rule of diagonalization. This rule doesn't have any difficult formula. It involves simple arithmetic calculations only. Also, it can be used as fast mental technique to find the sum of series. Besides, it is also used for various types of series like the geometric series shown in various examples, the arithmetic geometric series also shown in examples, the telescoping series or the plus and minus altering series as shown, whose consecutive terms alter in sign, and finally I call the polynomial geometric series as the numerator part consists of only the function of n with positive integral powers in n. So, as a general case, we can apply this rule to the series in the form as shown, where f of n can be in the form of a number only as 8, it can be the first degree polynomial in n that is 7n minus 55, or in the second degree or in general it can be any function of n with positive powers as shown. And the value of x can range from 1, excluding 1 itself, to any bigger number than 1, which is a necessary condition for the convergence of the series. The formula to find the sum is represented as shown. It may look complex but it is extremely useful for fast mental calculation. Here, we will not go through the formula but we will focus on how to apply it to do the calculation easily. If you have deep knowledge of mathematics or the finite differences, then you can go through the formula, but in our case, we will just try to solve the problem an easy way. Let's start with a simple question as shown here. The series starts from n equals 0. So, we expand the series by putting n equals 0, n equals 1 n equals 2, n equals 3 and so on. Then, we get the series as shown here. For our convenience, we put this in a format in such that the denominator part consists of increasing power of same number, that is, 3 in this question. In second step, we find the term having the denominator raised with the power 1 that is, the term shown by the arrow. Then, we extract only the numerators starting from that term as shaded here. Then, we find the differences of the consecutive terms, as 21 minus 7 equals 14, 41 minus 21 equals 20 and so on. And we go on finding the differences until we reach a common difference. So, we do 20 minus 14 equals 6, 26 minus 20 equals 6 and so on, and we stop because we got the common difference as 6. There's an idea to find how many steps are needed to reach the common difference. Just look at the highest power of n in the numerator, that is, 2 in this case. Hence, we need two steps to get the common difference. Then, extract only the first diagonal elements, that is 7, 14 and 6 in our case. Then, the denominator in our question is 3, so subtract 1, then you will get 3 minus 1 equals 2 and put it in the denominator in the diagonal elements. After this, put the powers in the denominator in increasing order starting from 1, as shown here. Then, Add the terms so formed diagonally and get the result. The result, that is, 31 by 4, is only the sum starting from the term 7 by 3. Hence, also add minus 1 hence the final answer will be 27 by 4. Finally, we check the result with Wolfram Mathematica a popular software for mathematical operations and approve our result.